I've been asked as a TED speaker to share some of my life lessons or something interesting I've learned. In other words, it is known as ideas worth sharing. Inherently, whenever you think of the word idea, what do you immediately picture? A light bulb, a sign of innovation, a mark of brilliance, that good feeling when all the jumbled puzzle pieces in your head come together. But did you know that Thomas Edison, the father of the light bulb, had 1,000 unsuccessful attempts before finally achieving a working light bulb? When he was asked by a journalist how it felt to fail a thousand times, he said, I did not fail a thousand times, rather, I learned a thousand ways to not make a light bulb. Edison isn't the first man to have persevered. Jordan, Ali, Newton, Disney, the Wright brothers. We have an infinite amount of stories to go off of and stories to listen to and learn from about how failure should be treated. If you fail once, you try and you try and you try until you become successful. Fall down the seventh time, stand up the eighth. The problem is when you don't, when you don't know the dark side of failure, the, the impact of devastating, mind-numbing bad failure has when you try your best. No one talks about how it feels when you, the loop people go in and how they treat themselves and blame themselves. No one talks about, no one talks about the penetrating self-hatred and, and, and imp impactful thoughts that go on in people's head when they fail for so many times and for so long. In the past three years of my life, I began looking at failure as if it was the end and not the beginning. Moreover, I was stuck, stuck in this loop of paralyzing fear and anxiety for failing for so many times and for so long. No one was there to tell me failure was a good thing. I couldn't show up for myself either. I was playing football at my football academy. My teammates were at least three to five years older than me. My first two months playing there were rough. Their physical attributes clearly outshined mine. They were bigger, they were faster, and they hit harder. Additionally, they knew how to strategize their game, and their vision was better than mine due to their experience playing the game. So I ended up most days never getting picked by them, and I always got picked at last. Moreover, I, was, I never got a chance to be a captain either. I was prone to making a lot of errors within the game and for that reason, I got yelled at my teammates and the coach often sent me off during the match because he thought I was bringing the team down. I remember a specific day very vividly. September 17th, 2023. I made a lot of errors in that game and almost got disqualified from the match. My teammates were furious sparing no chance to berate me, and as I saw everyone's eyes, they were dejected. These people were absolutely crestfallen to have me in their team, and they didn't view me as a player or as an equal. They thought of me as a handicap. I went home and I cried. I seriously thought of quitting. I was devastated by the way I was treated, and I felt like I let my team down severely. Reflecting back on that moment, I am very grateful for that day because it served as a catalyst for me and shifted my mentality immensely. I thought of it deeply and I looked myself in the mirror. I looked at the players who I idolized and wanted to be like and thought to myself, what are they doing that I'm not? Turns out it's more about how they think rather than what they do that separates the individuals at the top level of their field. Carol Susan Dweck, a Stanford psychologist introducing a fascinating concept known as the growth mindset compared to the fixed mindset. While the person with the fixed mindset will throw their hands in his aspiration and blame it on talent, the growth mindset also affirms the fact that their skills aren't where they should be. However, they acknowledge the fact that failure is a part of growth. They acknowledge that with hard work and deliberate practice, you can grow and improve the goals that you want in your life. 
A study done by Dweck and her colleagues found out that those with a growth mindset tends to outperform those with a fixed mindset. This is because those with a growth mindset are more likely to embrace from challenges, persevere to setbacks, and see effort as a part to mastery. Additionally, those with a growth mindset are more likely to seek out opportunities and are less discouraged by failure. This can lead to increased motivation, improved academic performance, and a greater willingness to take on new challenges. I said to myself perpetually, Zion, look, this is not the level of your game. Furthermore, I knew I could improve a lot and I had to focus on the weaknesses that I struggled with. I wasn't destined to be a terrible player forever. After failing for so many times, it's really easy to fall in the pit hole of considering yourself inferior to those who succeed. It's really easy to beat yourself up or blame your own skill set or your own lack of talent. And this is one of the biggest stigmas surrounding failure itself. Whether it's criticism from outside sources or you being your biggest hater, constant self-hatred can only exacerbates the situation in your mind. When you realize that failure is only a stepping stone in your way of becoming successful, your growth mindset takes over and it pushes you to train harder and improves your mental health. An error isn't the end of the world anymore. It's a place where you have to be and you have to fix it and make it better. The player that I idolize in football is Cristiano Ronaldo. And there's a quote by him that states, no matter how good you become, some people will still criticize you and see you in a negative way. It's better to never lose hope in yourself and always believe in yourself no matter what. One can develop a growth mindset by doing the following. Stop thinking negatively. Negative thoughts can have a terrible impact on yourself. One should never think that they cannot change the world and make sure to never blame themselves. Become persistent and do the required task with commitment. There's a phrase known as putting one foot in front of the other no matter what. This is meant to take a step-by-step -step approach and do the required task with such commitment that you know yourself. You can become successful in no time. Finally, view failure as a feedback for yourself. Failure plays a key role in your healer's journey and is a turning point in your life. One has to embrace from failure and learn from failing. If you stop thinking negatively, become persistent and do the required task with commitment and view failure as a feedback for yourself, congrats my friend, you officially have a growth mindset. This is where I stopped thinking about my past mistakes and focused on becoming better. Now, I started to think more seriously as I came to a totally new part of my hero's journey, a beast of a challenge often consuming every adolescent in his war path. The name, high school. <laughs> Having a growth mindset can help you a lot as an individual and will help you become successful in no time. The power of growth mindset is unlimited and the choice is yours. Will you let failure take over and determine who you are or will you rise up and develop the courage to grow. Thank you.